Hi, today quick and easy tear down this it was a 5 euro item on British eBay. Some uh, aircraft uh, radio or radar module. Radar it seems made by Deca. So uh, a slide in module like this you can see it is written to remove uh, slide in the direction of arrow you have four screws which are spring loaded here you have one connector here so you will insert in uh, somewhere it will mate with a connector here you will uh, secure it with the screws and then fit the other connectors so first uh, we have the tag it was serviceable in February 1990. So already a quite old tag, but you can see in a good condition. So probably it was never refitted after this checkup. Serviced at RAF Sealand D-side. It is near Liverpool. Seems we still have a facility here with some company related to avionics or something like this, but I am not sure if it is still a rough uh, uh, site or not. Ok, static sensitive. Radio frequency module, you can see uh, serial number 90. Thank you very much. And nothing else. Of course, the unserviceable side is not filled. So it is a box like this. One connector here. Big metal plate on the back. I did already undo most of the screws. The uh, manufacturer plate here. Radio frequency unit. NATO number. Ok, Deca Navigation Company Limited England, but here it is written Deca Radar. So I'm not sure if it is for a radio, Deca Radio Navigation Receiver or a radar. So it is a radio frequency unit, so maybe it is some kind of a receiver. Or you will have several of them for different frequencies or something like this. Uh, several little plugs like this which will seem to be quite uh, modern in fact you can see still uh, very shiny and uh, gold plated seem to be a modernish design not sure we will try to find the dead code in here so let me undo this um, back cover uh, like such just two screws left so it will be pretty quick ready curious about what we will have in here I hope gold ceramic ices ok quite old school stuff uh, the cover is just an aluminium plate with those two pieces of uh, form of these two sections for some reason with maybe some kind of uh, conductive layer here but I do not see any uh, loaded, spring loaded contacts I will mate with this to make a contact quite weird so about what we have three boards no idea of what this all is doing but already we can see uh, 77 dead cards here okay quite uh, complicated assembly very nice uh, wire loom as you can see uh, all analog goodness uh, up arms was uh, I see here by um, this one by Texas Instruments 
mostly a lot of resistors, uh, capacitors, coils. So really, uh, radio uh, tuning thing, or something like this. Radio receiver, you think? Very nice um, uh, metal can ICs here with gold lugs. You can see this little connector here. About the module on the top, it seems it is uh, connected here with some uh, pieces of wire. Okay. So beautiful, but uh, no clue of what this is doing at all. Uh, test points here. And a lot of adjustments. So maybe we have a bunch of his modules mounted in a, on a radar or something like this. Seems it is made for a quick uh, swap. If you need to swap them to fit another mission or uh, something like this. Okay, let's have a look at this um, top unit here. So we have a set of screws, the three main screws here are to secure the box to the module, but anyways I need to undo them to undo the cover. When I did receive this unit, the, I was not able to undo this cover first because it was glued in place, but finally with some help of a blade I was able to unglue it. And you will be able to see what we have inside. So, what is your guess first? We'll try to have a look at those little connectors. Okay, little coax like this. So, quite a lot of uh, plugs on this thing, as you can see. Really curious. I did not find any information about. Uh, what it could be. Oh, the, the main thing could be to find a photo of equipment of, with it mounted on, on, it, on it to know exactly where it is coming from, but no luck so far. Okay, what do you think we have in here? Tada! Okay. So that is interesting. Uh, not uh, this part, just um, resistors, no, coils and uh, adductors and capacitors. But here on the right, we have apparently two very nice um, ceramic plates with gold tracks and uh, RF voodoo, of course. So uh, apparently this is called the Wilkinson Splitter Combiner and Hybrid Branch Line Coupler. Thanks for the comment of my on my post with a photo of it. So I will try to link a few uh, websites about uh, this kind of uh, voodoo. It looks like the tracks here are in solid gold and we might have here super super tiny things that I cannot uh, identify either bond wires or things like this so you can see a very very shiny gold here I uh, believe those tracks might be just uh, pure gold deposit. Uh, I will do uh, some USB microscope photos of it that I will insert right here.
not really really uh, interesting stuff nice uh, air mounted uh, parts here and the cover has again for kind of uh, foam parts on some it had a uh, metal seal here okay so just for this unit this thing interesting it is exactly what the kind of things I want to find and see in my turdons but you never know what you will get it is always Russian roulette with eBay stuff well you can expect more or less well, depending on the kind of equipment to find uh, interesting things but yes very very nice tracks you can see these little plates are secured by uh, uh, springy metal parts here with little screws there is a link between those two parts and then the connectors are uh, soldered here and I'll show how these connectors will come off okay so thanks for watching bye bye